Hi, my name is Melanie Crookshank, and today we're going to be doing some really fun looks that you're seeing on the runways and lots of celebrities wearing. So I'm really excited to get started here on Julia and show you what we've got in store. Right now, what I'm going to be doing on Julia is a look called Tone on Tone. It's one of my favorite day looks. You're seeing a lot in magazines, on the runway, and uh, it's just super for any time. What I'm using is a water-based foundation on Julia, and I'm going to be using my fingers, and the reason why is it's a great way to get nice coverage, but at the same time too, it's not too much and it's a very natural look. And that's what you want with foundation. You don't want to scream, I'm wearing foundation. Well, now that we've got a nice beautiful coverage on Julia's face, we're going to do concealer. One thing I get asked about all the time about concealer is when to apply it. Do you put it on before your foundation? Do you put it on after? And the truth of the matter is, you can put it on any time. Um, everybody has their own way that they like to do it, but I like to kind of put it on after the foundation and then I also like to do touch-ups afterwards. And I also do use a brush to apply it, but I like to use my fingers just to blend out any lines. And you're also taking off excess product um, because at the end of the day, you really don't want too much. You want a nice, natural, even look. So now that we've applied some of the concealer to Julia, a little bit underneath the eyes, a little bit of blemishes, I'm going to go and apply the blush. I like to use a cream blush. Uh, I like to use a cream blush for various reasons. I like that it gives a beautiful, soft, dewy look. And I also like that if you have larger pores, uh, it won't sit in them. Julia's a really young, hip girl, so we're just going to make her look glowy and sexy for the day. And I'm just following the cheekbone, just lightly applying it to the apple and into her crease. Now that we've got our beautiful dewy cream blush on, I'm gonna go and apply a light gold just onto Julia's lids. And I'm just gonna do it up until the socket. So all along the lid, And then what I'm going to do after, right now, is I'm going to take a darker gold and I'm going to put that directly into Julia's socket. All the way around, blending it. What I want to do is just lightly, is just fill in Julia's brows. Not too much because we still want to look natural, but you just want to kind of fill in the gaps. And I'm just using a darker pow powder shadow. Just brush it along and that's all we need to do for Julia. So now that we've got the gold shadow on Julia's eye, we've done her eyebrows, I'm gonna use a darker gold color and I'm just gonna run it along her lash line. I'm just gonna do just frequent little swipes all along her lash line and I'm not gonna wing it out. We want it to be nice and clean and we're just gonna wing it along and that's it. Now I'm going to curl Julia's lashes. Just give it a nice little squeeze just before I apply the mascara. Just gives them a little bit of romance. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara. Now it's up to you if you'd like to add a little bit on the bottom because this is a tone on tone day look uh, and Julie has such beautiful thick lashes, I'm just going to do the tops. But if you have thinner lashes and you want a little bit more drama, by all means add some to the bottom. So now we're going to finish off our tone on tone look by doing of course lips and what I'm going to put on Julia's lips first is just a bit of a uh, nude lip balm. I like the lip balm because it's a little sticky and it's really going to hold the lip gloss in place. Just before that, I did add a tiny bit of the foundation onto Julia's lips, which will act kind of like a cement. So now that we've got our balm on, I'm going to go straight for the gloss. And this is a really, really beautiful gloss that works on all skin types. Anybody could wear this look. This is what I love about this look so much. And there you have it. You have the tone on tone look. It's a beautiful nudie look. You're seeing it a lot for spring. You're seeing it on the runways. Fabulous for every day to day. So thank you so much. What I 